is up, YouTube. Welcome to my pantry where I spend most of my time staring at the shelves looking for a snack to eat. But right now, I'm searching for pre workout life on the top shelf because Courtney doesn't want to have to be anywhere else. But also very exciting. This citrus grapefruit essential flavor. I have been pushing for this flavor as an energy drink and a pre-workout for over a year now. We made it, but it just took forever to nail the flavor and to bring it out because I fucking love this flavor and it, we nailed it. 10 out of 10, I had it yesterday, enjoyed it. So crushing it again right now. But we got back from Dallas, which was backed off the trip to Vegas for the Super Bowl and all this stuff. So it's been a lot going on. I didn't think I touched on what the Super Bowl and everything. But it was a Super Bowl, you know, we had fun, enjoyed it. Got to see 50 Cent live the night before, 21 Savage. Horrible live, but you know, it is what it is. It's cool to see them either way. And then filmed some videos and then left Texas early because we finished really quick. So we got to get the fuck out of there and come back home. So it's nice being home. I'm actually going to be home now for two whole weeks. So my goal is to get fucking jacked and stop being a skinny little bitch because I've been an absolute skinny bitch this entire year so far. I haven't even like had consistent training. Justin's trying to have me do like the proper program and follow it. They give me a four week like startup thing to like get my body prepped and it's been like eight weeks and I still haven't even finished it. So that's the kind of shit we're on. So today I'm going to be doing a variation of the last upper body-ish day but different exercises. So I'm trying to get strong, trying to get huge. I have a uh, Arnold and then after that I'm going to train with Urz and Ramon in Arizona for like an Olympia battle thing. And they're going to be competing at the Arnold so I want to be strong and make them all look like skinny bitches. So I got to get in shape in the next two weeks. So a lot of work to do, not enough time to do it. So I'm going to down the pre-workout, get to the gym and that's it. getting real old. I feel like when it rains, I can feel it in my joints now, which is a sign that I'm turning into my father. He's in his 60s, I'm in my 20s, so pretty much the same thing as a bodybuilder, but trying to warm up, just get my joints ready to rock, because I want to go heavier than 120s. Last week I did three sets of 120, so I have to go up at least 10 pounds this week, hit the 130s, <clears throat> and yeah, that's about it. I might swap the pull downs for pull ups this workout, because we're having an event, for raw we're opening up our big gym in the other city where our warehouse is and we're gonna have a big event and on the monday it's gonna be memorial day so we might do a murph and i still don't think i'm gonna do it because i can't do more than 10 pull-ups at a time and after doing three sets i can only do two and i can't run a mile and i have to run two miles for that and i can't do those push-ups or air squats that are in it so i might be moral support on a little electric scooter train people on i feel like calvin or the our other sales guy stefan are probably gonna win this thing and i'm just gonna be a cheerleader so Regardless, I want to start doing more pull-ups, so I'm going to do those after this, but that's what's going on. So stay tuned for that event, though, because we're doing, I can do like a little meet and greet, a little seminar. First, early access to check out our new gym when it's built, and then a little endurance run slash Murph thing on the Monday. So give us some more information soon. <laughs> Word for the wise one warming up. Most people tear when they're getting heavy and they're trying to like muscle the tear muscle. 
when they're trying to muscle up the weight so they get down here and then they get that little jolt where you like relax your muscle to get deeper and then you explode out. So when I'm warming up, I try and do like pause reps. I really lower it down and I let it pause in the stretch so it sinks down. And then I press from there just so that part of my muscle is actually warmed up in the stretch position. The heavier you go, the more it's gonna naturally stretch you down, the more like you're gonna fuck your shit up. So warm up slowly, don't just like rep out. I see a lot of people warming up and they just rep really quick. Slow down your warm ups even more than your working sets. And don't hurt yourself because we're all getting old. Oh wow, is that the 17 one? I think I got a little ahead of myself on do 140s here, but they're in my hands. I'll fuck my shit up. <clears throat> That was proof I was being a little bitch last week. 120s were hard. Can't do 140s again, but I got eight reps, so that counts. <clears throat> My bench is crooked. It's gonna fuck me up. That was 10 out of 10 progress from last week or two weeks ago, whenever the fuck that last chest workout we filmed was. Probably two weeks ago actually is how slow we were moving traveling. But the beauty of taking a lot of time off and feeling weak at the beginning is every week your strength just comes back so quick. Like at the end of last year's off season, I was repping 150s easy. Last week I was only doing 120s. Touched the 140s for one set right now, it's slowly all coming back. So try not to kill myself too much. So I did one heavy set at 140s, dropped back down to 130s. Focusing on really controlled reps. I'm actually building proper strength throughout the whole range. I'm feeling good. So maybe I actually will. Last year I was like, I'm not gonna need heavier than 150s, but I would love to have to need them. So maybe I'll hit up Dorian and be like, yo, I need some 170s, 160s, work my way up to 200s. Probably not. All right, next movement, doing a T-bar row. I love doing these machine ones. This Jim Leco one too is pretty fire. So I'm gonna do, keep doing the same kind of concept, still trying to get strong as fuck right now and lift some serious weight, but with controlled form. It's cool when you really like start 
an off season or a strength building program with perfect form rather than just like trying to like throw the weight off you, fucking everything up, you actually realize you get stronger, more efficiently, you feel better, stronger, everything, and your weights will keep progressively moving without injury as well, which is always nice. So that's the goal this year. I always try and keep my form pretty damn tight, but I have to reiterate that out loud to you guys to force it to myself to do it because it builds a better physique, less injuries, get stronger, all the benefits in the world. So starting off with that now, control the negative, doing a wide grip here, really focus on my mid back. So I'm a little bit further down the pad rather than over top. Feet on the ground and pull away. All right, I realized I took my mic off and I left it over there and I just explained what I was doing. So essentially doing the pure iron, I always forget what it's called, the pure iron machine over here. This is one of their incline presses that they're, I think it's a prototype still, but it's pretty much perfect. It allows you to kind of connect both sides of it. So you can either do one arm or two arm at a time. And because I have a fucked up lopsided shoulder, I like doing one arm at a time, same concept as a dumbbell, make sure everything is symmetrical. But I'm keeping it super consult controlled. It's pretty light, but I went really heavy with the dumbbells. So I'm gonna do a little bit of rest pause. We just filmed the last set with no volume, like I said, so this is my last set. I'm gonna aim for like at least 10, pause for like 10, 15 seconds, and then do an AMRAP. Oh wow, I sound so crossfit when I say the word AMRAP. I might do the CrossFit games this year. <clears throat> So if I can get even four reps here, I'll be proud. Oh. All right, shit. That was tough. I don't know what I'm doing next, so you can go figure it out. All right, it's probably gonna be my last two movements. I'm gonna do like a semi supinated grip here on this Panada machine. Same bullshit as before, super set with some push ups. Do some pull ups at the beginning, push ups at the end, and I'll never be able to do a Murph like that. So I'm just gonna keep pretending and not actually doing it. <clears throat> Kid. I remember I had the perfect push-ups, these little things that like twisted and you'd hold the grip and you push up. And I could literally do like double clap push-ups and I felt so strong. Doing those in my basement, trying to work out. And here I am now, I can bench like 300 pounds and I can do way less pull-ups, push-ups. Can't do clapping push-ups anymore. It's like I've digressed from 12 year old Seabum in his basement trying to be jacked. But those were the glory days. <clears throat>
right, so we wrapped up that workout and didn't outro it. So we're here at the office. It's 4.59 and we're all trying to get the fuck out of here at 5. So I'm going to wrap this up. But training's been feeling good. Body's come back together. I am so unbelievably sore. I do this 10 sets of 10 drop set for my calves and I haven't been able to walk for like a week but I'm feeling good and actually motivated now because I've been home for like a week which is the first time all year I've been home for longer than a week so actually getting back into that rhythm and then after the Arnold this week by the way Arnold photo op tickets are on sale if you guys want to stop by but after the Arnold I won't be traveling until my baby's born and a month after that so I can spend time here with Courtney and the baby so I'm going to actually be able to get into a really good routine have a proper off season trying it huge trying it jacked I'm trying to get strong with the buck this year because that's just the goal so that's what going to be what's doing we're going to do a full day of eating show you guys what I'm eating right now kind of getting back into routine with that like I said traveling's fucked all that up but it's all slowly coming together and I got some treats here some literal Vaughn's treats he gave me these to try so this is my snack for the day we're making some protein pretzels and they're like chocolate covered protein pretzels and they're different flavors and they taste fire this one's like a coffee flavor like a light milk chocolate mocha and then this one's a white chocolate vanilla they're the regular milk chocolate one they're better than any other like chocolate pretzels you have and they have protein in them so super good but we're gonna be having those come out in the future probably probably be part of my bulk plan getting these tasty uh, things in it might get me fat but as long as i'm huge and strong that's really all that matters but yeah that's what's going on so we're gonna get a full day of eating at you guys coming soon i'm gonna get more into in depth with my training trying to get strong this year as we all are as we i am every year and that's all that's going on so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time maybe in my kitchen so peace out thanks for watching